Hi techies, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about solid principles. Solid principles are very very important as part of software engineering. Who are becoming a software engineers or who are already a software engineers, they have to strictly follow solid principles while developing their software. Okay? Let's start. In solid principles, each letter in solid defines specific principle for the software development. Okay? So let's start with the first letter in solid, which is S. S means single responsibility principle. Single responsibility principle is like Swiss knife. You can see in my background what is Swiss knife. Swiss knife will have different different tools and each tool will have its own specific purpose and it is clear. Like that our programming also should have specific responsibility for the each part and it should not be over written by different different programmings and it should not be very complex okay and if you follow single responsibility principle it will avoid complexity and ensuring the main maintainability in the code the next character in solid principle is o o means open closed principle the open closed principle as applied to the train system okay it looks like a train system okay we can take an example of train train will have different different boxes okay each box will have its own seat and seat numbers and if you want to add a new box we can add without changing the existing boxes okay so in the code also we should be able to add new functionality without changing the existing code okay so our code should be flexible to addition to the new features like coaches in train system okay our next letter in solid principle is l l means lisco substitution principle the lisco substitution principle we can compare with cars cars will have different models okay sedan and suv bmw or an audi okay you can always expect them to start drive in a consistent manner since all are subclasses of the general class car like that in programming also we will have a general class from that we will define some subclasses okay which will be copy of the uh, basic class okay which will call general class and we will have a subclasses which can be extended with the functionality of the same general class okay so to do the uh, extension of the any feature right we can apply this principle okay our next letter in solid principle is i i means interface segregation principle okay so this one we can compare with uh, chargers we will have different chargers for mobile laptop and different model phones also okay if you want to charge a uh, mobile phone there is a multi port charger also sometimes we will carry that so that is not correct okay in programming also what we will do we will write a class and we will have different uh, functionalities in the same class okay but it should be only one functionality in one class okay like we are carrying the uh, port for the laptop we are carrying the port for the tablet which is not required for the mobile phone okay so this principle will tell that we should have a separate separate class for their purpose we should not mix the purposes in 
single class okay our next letter in solid is d d means dependency inversion principle this is very important principle in programming okay what is dependency inversion principle when using a news app on my phone it should not matter if i am connecting to wifi or mobile network the app should function regardless of the type of internet connection like that our programming should not be dependent on how we are connecting to the objects okay so it should work independently there should not be any dependency on the other object okay the dependency should get injected to the program as per the requirement it should work properly that is what it mean dependency invention principle okay i hope you understood what is solid principles okay and how we need to apply in our programming languages and in software development okay so you can remember easily this solid principles with my examples okay and uh, it's not very difficult okay so i hope you understood all the concepts properly okay so please like this video and subscribe to my channel and uh, i will come up with more tech videos if you have any questions please write down in comments i will reply to your comments okay see you soon